People keep asking if I'm back, and I haven't really had an answer. But now, yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. All right, guys, today is the day, finally, we're going to be getting the transmission put back into the Ram. It's a used transmission. It only had 3,600 miles on it. A new transmission is like, I just was on Mopar's website, I think like sixty-five to $7,000, depending if you have four-wheel drive or, you know, mine was $6,500 for four-wheel drive because the tail shaft's different. And the one I got, I got it for... Uh, little over a thousand dollars only 3600 miles on it it looks in great shape everything like that we just got to take the torque converter out of my current transmission put it in the new one and we're just hoping everything bolts up smoothly and everything goes good because this has just been about a month since there, since i've even driven the truck and i can't wait till pray to god everything goes smooth and i can drive the truck tonight sorry if i'm doing that but yeah so yeah, it also, and I also had to spend almost five hundred dollars in fluids, like four hundred and fifty dollars for nine cases of transmission fluid, and um, two cases of transfer case fluid. Sorry, I'm uh, blinking. The sun in my eyes is really glazy out. So almost, basically four hundred fifty dollars for for fluid for the transmission and the transfer case. And uh, yeah, we're just hoping everything goes smooth. I'm not going to be videoing too much of this because. My buddy Steve, who's the mechanic who does all my work, is going to be like working under here. There's no lift, so it's going to. I don't want to be having the camera in his face while he's under there. It's not like he's under a lift or anything like that. I just want everything, you know what I mean, to go smooth. I will show process of possibly him taking out the torque converter, putting in the new torque converter, and possibly bolting it on and bolting up the new one and the old one. But I'm not going to show every little detail how to take out the trans. I got a lot of that on my torque converter install video so you can check that out if you want to see exactly what goes on into all that i already took out the transfer case yeah i did the transfer case. i took the transfer case out myself the the drive shaft the front drive shaft that's all ready to go he's just got to take the transmission out and switch everything over fluids all that stuff and he's doing all the work I, he didn't you know what i mean i got everything ready for him because i want to make his job as easy as possible because he's doing me the biggest favor here coming to my house instead of me getting this towed to him so Steve, thank you very much. Hope that everything goes smooth and here we go. All right guys, as you can see, here is the transmission. It's out of 2016 and of course, this is the part that broke on mine and that is in there. <laughs> First thing I looked at, make sure everything <laughs> looks good. Transmission looks in phenomenal shape. That'll be coming out shortly. Here's all the fluid, nine cases of transmission fluid, and two cases of transfer case fluid. Drag pack. Should be a good day. I've got one bolt on the side that I have to get. Ooh. Transmission is going to be coming out in a minute. The handy dandy uh, bike jack. Now people are gonna see this. But oh my god, I can't believe you're doing that to get it out. That's what these fucking people do, and they, you know what I mean. That do that shit. It's just like, dude, shut the fuck up. Like you can't do it. It's called a uh, video and lazy. I'm gonna fucking sleep all goddamn day tomorrow. Man. <laughs> on Easter too, right? You going anything? Doing anything for Easter? Uh, my mother-in-law and my mom's coming out. Okay. At least I don't have to fucking go nowhere. That's true. I gotta go to my aunt's in Philly. The good thing is we get to take the new Durango. I don't have it yet. No, I get to take my new Durango. Oh, so working hard and removing your tranny there. Oh, dude, I'm just... working. Hard. Dude, I removed the trans for K. That was hard as shit. This I... shit ain't light, bro. I need that. Well, the Circle D converter's out. It's going to be going in the new trans. This guy just took my seat. Every time he puts jeans on. Yo, he took, <laughs> takes my seat, makes his car go off. Neighbors going to be calling call on you. Yeah, I'm going to call cops on you. you Disturbing the pace. Left again gear. Jump start it. 
Oh my god. He dropped the clutch right on my oh fucking my foot, god. dude. Good? Yeah. Well, everything's running smooth. We got all new trans fluid in it. Tuning is an issue right now because of the new trans. We got to figure out how to get the the, the, the the tuner updated for the new trans. But it is running. It's actually 110% stock. There is no <laughs> there is no tune on this thing. This thing is stocked to the bone right now. I'm about a million check engine lights. And uh, I'm just glad everything went smooth with the actual mechanical part, Steve. Yeah. That went great. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. On my back. On his back under here. Did it in great time. Very, very, you know, 200-pound transmission. Did it all. And, uh, you know, I just got to figure out the tuning part right now, which is, you know, a little frustrating because I wanted to get the, everything 100% today. Tomorrow being Easter, I don't know how much I'm going to get done. So let's hope everything goes smooth and uh, get the tuning pit, tuning out the way. But she is up. She is running. And she's, and she's getting off the jack stands. All right, guys. As of right now, as you can see, back in the truck, I'm test driving around. Everything is in. The, all the mechanical works great. The only problem is there's tuning issues right now. Sorry. Fucking got glare. And, um... It's not allowing me to put in Jay's uh, trans tune, but it, is, it does have Diablo's trans tune in it right now. So for whatever reason, it's not allowing me to put in Jay's for some reason. I don't know why. I do have Jay's, obviously, his 93 tune in right now for the PCM, but the, 2000, the, the uh, TCM trans tune is not in right now. Don't know why. It's not shifting that well. I do want to go back under there, and I'm going to see if it needs a little bit more... Um, uh, transmission fluid because now that I'm driving it all the fluid could have filled up in the uh, in the uh, in the uh, clutch packs and the uh, converter so when I get back home I'm gonna try that out and hopefully you know that helps out because it is it's not driving it's not driving the best I can feel it in the shifts it's even though I do have a, a big converter in there it's still you, know, you can feel it you know what I mean if you're losing transmission fluid if anyone knows what that feels like it feels like you're hitting the gas and ain't going nowhere as much this is while driving and it's like jerking a lot so I'm hoping that we can get this resolved thick this resolved quick and I can get Jay's uh trans tune back on it the way it was and it'll drive exactly the way it was but it is driving everything's going smooth driving wise it feels good I do have a check engine light don't know why it's probably not a big deal but the truck as of right now is up and running and it's back but not 100%. <laughs> it's probably about yeah, 75, 80% up and running. And uh, yeah, I'll keep you posted of everything, I, you know, what's going on with it. But I'm just glad I got it up and running. I haven't been in this truck driving it around in about a month. So I've been away in New York. Thank God I had a different car to drive up there. My boss is actually. And I won't be taking this up there. So this will be at home for the the rest of the time I'm up there I should be up there for another two weeks when I come back around at least I have my truck back and I can um get it up and running happy Easter to everybody it's a Sunday I don't know when I'm gonna post this so all right we just got done test driving it um I sent all the backup files to Jay he said it's normal for the uh his old trans to not to show up with the new trans so that's good that's a good thing so I'm guessing that once he gets me all the new tuning, I can put it in and everything will be back to normal. I did add more transmission fluid in and it's dry, it drove much, much better. Still not the same because it's still got the Diablo performance trans tune or whatever the hell Diablo's trans tune is and that's really, 
you know, it's not set up for what I have done. I have ever, like, you know, a lot done. So that's what's going on with the truck. As soon as we get that, it should, it should be up back to normal. Take it easy. We're going to do some, uh, we're going to service the front and rear diff, and then we're going to get some uh, control arms before we go back to the track. I don't know when that's going to be because this just cost me, you know, a lot of money. Thank God it did. I didn't have to get a new one, but this still cost me a lot more money than I expected to have, right? Uh, you know, expect it. And uh, yeah, but the good thing is, truck's up and running, and I'm back.